And we're back. Alright, so this is a level 197 echo. Should be fun. As always, recording live, so um, forgive any sort of lapses in concentration where I might just randomly stop talking. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and guess that this guy is strength. And he's also scared of me. Okay, that's a good start. Um, yeah, I'm going to guess that he's strength, but I'm going to chuck on my fire shield too, just in case. Alright, let's go here. That seems about right. So he can't use Felonition. Wait, he can, if he gives himself three extra movement points, but I don't see why he would. Okay, interesting first move. Typical. Buff, buff, buff. And his resistances aren't too bad. I guess I'm going to focus more heavily on strength and intelligence on this guy. Is he going to? Oh, interesting. I thought he might felonition me backwards. <laughs> yeah, he got pretty unlucky with that roulette there. As you can see, it didn't do very much damage. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and hit him with leak pie. And then run away. So, you know what? Actually, I'm going to go one back. Just to try and stay as far away as possible. Okay, um, so far it's going alright. I've already done 100 damage on him, thanks to Leak Pie. Now if he goes and hits me, oh, this is going to hurt. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, he's going to, that's pretty smart. He's going to, at the same time, take away my, um, he's going to erode me, basically, and take away, uh, AP, which is really annoying. Like, that's, that is typical Ekkers. They're just a pain in the ass. Um, okay, roulette, roulette. Oh, that sucks. Is he Omni or? I thought he was. Okay, so this is a typical one most people fall for. Ekkers do this to try and run away. Um, but I've kind of locked him here. But I need to get away now because he's going to. He is going to have a shitload of AP next turn, which I cannot do. Okay, so I'm going to... Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit him once, then I'm going to coop with his cat and make sure he can't hit me. He can still play for me, but... It's going to take him a bit more AP to reach me. So yeah, as you see, he gains 3 AP there. So if I was close to him, it would have hurt. Um, so he's lost quite a bit of health, whereas I'm still on 100, which is... Well, apart from Erosion, which took around 120 health. 130, something like that. So yeah, he's going to hit me with Playful. But um, on the next turn, I can use Vital Punishment too. Oh no, he's not, and he can't reach. <laughs> nice. Um, so what I'm going to do now is play a little bit of a range game, try to stretch out this match. I'm going to hit him with Moonhammer and Leak Paw. That is annoying. You know what? I need to take care of this cat. I can't have this cat messing up my plans. So I'm just going to try and stay away for now. Ooh, that was not nice. So I'm going to try and stay back for now. Just kill his kitten, and um, eventually, when I can rebuff, I'll sort of try to get to him. So that was pretty okay, Roulette. I mean, you can't do much with that. I don't even know if he can hit me from there. I don't think he can. He has to go one more. No, he can't. Oh well, doesn't matter. His only other option really is to... Oh, uh, he can use Playform. Yeah, there you go. That did quite a bit of damage. That's annoying. Fucking kitten. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Hit this kitten, kill his stupid ass, and then I'm gonna throw a sword down. And then I'm going to... Um, I might run up here, just to get a bit more distance, but then I risk being locked. 
that's okay, because the sword's going to block him off anyway. He's going to probably use Feel and spirit, uh, spirit on the sword and get a bit closer and then run up to me and try to hit. Which is fine, because I've just thrown on Vital Punishment. Oh, that is not nice. Yep, Feline Spirit, he's going to land here on this square. Or he's just going to run around, which is pretty stupid. Okay, whatever works for him. Ah, uh, he's trying to go for my AP again. That is not very nice. Well, at least he's a bit more of a challenge than an IOP, I thought. Um, at the moment, we're pretty even. He is... Oh, that is fucked up. <sighs> okay, um... That's okay, I can heal a little bit off this cat and kill it at the same time. And then run away. And I hope my sword does a little bit. Ah, shit, I need to buff. Okay, next turn I'm going to buff. I hope he doesn't run after me. Oh, seriously? <laughs> These roulettes, man. 12 AP. Oh, fuck. Okay, this is going to hurt. But if he gets me to 50, then I can punish him. Although his resistance for neutral is pretty annoying. Yep, here comes the Claw of Single, there we go, annoying as fuck, stop taking my AP, Jesus Christ. Honestly, Eckers, I know it's been said, but they are so fucking overpowered, it's not even funny. Alright, so, if I get too close to him now, I'm in trouble. Alright, just gonna... Try to stay a little bit further away, and then if need be, I can transposition with my sword. Like, if he runs now, I can just transpose with my sword and hit him. But I hope he's going to run up to me and try to hit me so that I can punish him. Although Vital ran out. Oh, that's not good. Um, yeah, shit, so he's doing the same tactic. He's going to try and run up to me, and then on the next turn, he's going to hit me with a lot of AP. So... Here's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to hit him, and then I'm going to transpose with my sword. Although he was smart just then, he ran around the corner, that is fucked up. Um, you know what? I have a different idea. I should probably save evasion for when he uses luck, but... Um, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, okay. I'm going to put this cow out here as an evasion route, forward thinking, got to use evasion, then I'm going to hit him with Sax Foot. So, this way, he's going to do a shitload of damage on me right now. But, when he uses Echo Flip's luck eventually, because the cooldown for evasion probably won't have like reached its, you know, whatever, I won't be able to use it yet, I can transpose with the cow and get away during his, you know, OP turn. So, he's got 10... Yeah, I was wrong. He is Omni. That is annoying. Well, he is... He's gonna get fucked now. So he's got negative 5 Earth, so I'm gonna hit him with that. And if he stays there, I can kill the sword too. Which is, honestly, perfectly fine with me. Here we go, 500, I healed. So he's gonna use luck now. And I'm going to transpose with my sword and get out uh, my coward and get out. So that was a pretty painful roulette as well, but luckily I have Vital on against her. This shouldn't be too bad. He's going to use luck now. Well, he should, unless he wants to die. Go on, use it. Or not. What? Oh, there it is, yeah. So yeah, he's going to use the same shit again. He's going to try and um, just spam AP and try to blitz me. Whoa, he's actually done pretty well. Fuck, yeah, I knew I should have. This is bad. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Um, yep. So, I'm going to... Shit, I could release him. Three... No, that wouldn't do much. Actually, shit, 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 think. Okay, release. Run. And bloodthirsty. Fuck! This is not good. This is, this is gonna hurt. Oh, shit. 
but if I survive this, then he's dead. I still have Vital, so that's going to take away 200. Bloody hell. Uh, of course. Okay, I can transpose. He's going to actually try and run now, because he knows that if I catch him, he's fucked. So, um, unless he kills my sword, he's screwed. Yeah, he's going to probably hit me with bluff or something. What are you doing, mate? That was really not the smartest thing you could have done just then, unless he uses... No, he didn't even use Aeon. Okay. Game over. Alright, well, that was a 197 uh, echo. Um, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Keep watching if you like these videos.